Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Astro AI 2000 counts digital plant meter. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So here it says indicator light, auto ranging, non-contact voltage, live testing. Here's some specs on the back. Digital display is 2000 counts, three and a half, I think that's inch. Sampling speed is three times per second. LCD dimensions is 35 by 25 millimeter. Range selection is auto or manual. Polarity indication has a minus sign. It's automatically detected. Overload indication, low battery indication. And it has the work temperatures, storage temperatures. It's powered by two AAA batteries and it comes with those. It's approximately 203 grams. The dimensions are 195 by 68 by 29 millimeters. And safety compliance, it's CAT 3, 600 volts, pollution level 2, altitude less than 2,000 meters. And here are the functions. We have AC DC voltage, AC current, capacitance, resistance, continuity, diode test, and VC and live. So let's get this opened up. So it comes in a pouch. Open that up. Here's the meter itself. Here we go. Here are the probes. So this is CAT3600 volts. We can pull these off and then it's CAT2. So unless you need the longer probes, it's probably safer to have these on here. There's little caps in here too. Pull those out. Okay, let's open up the battery compartment. Okay, looks like the batteries are already installed in there. So there's a little piece of plastic here, let's pull that off. So it did come with a manual, and here it looks like it talks about the different features. It talks about how to use the different features, so that's nice. So let's get into this, let me look at the feel. So this is hard plastic here, press here to open this up. So this is for the amp meter, so you would place this around a single conductor, so this would be your, like your hot, you would put that around your hot. You can't put it around both because those will cancel each other out. So you put it on one of the conductors and then this will read the amps. So if you have a cord you want to read on, you can use a device like this, this is a splitter. So you plug this in and plug another device into here and then you can put the amp meter around there to read it. And this has a one or 10 on this one. So this will multiply it times 10 or more sensitive things. So let's turn this on. So this is AC amps here. This is two to 400 amps. This is two to 20 amps. This is volts AC. This is volts DC. And here's the capacitance resistance. And this would be diode continuity. And this is the non-contact voltage and live. So I don't have anything that is 200 to 400 amps to test with this. Let's try the two to 20. Okay, so I have an iron here, plug that in. The iron is on, so I'll place that around the bottom here, and we see that the iron is drawing 9.7 amps. So that makes sense, irons take a lot of power. So now it just clicked off, and that's because the iron thermostat cycled, so I'm guessing if it cools down, it will click back on. Those irons do heat up very quickly, so I'll just leave it here for a second, and we'll see if it turns back on. This will turn off after 15 minutes on its own, or I'll try turning this up. Okay, I turned it up, so now it's drawing 10.15 amps. So I'll unplug this, I'll take this off, I'll unplug this. Let's try something lower power. I have a USB charger here. I'll plug that into a phone. Okay, so I have a phone charger here. Let's check this out. So this is drawing 0.14 amps. So this will vary as the charge on the phone goes down or goes up, it will draw less power. But right now it's drawing you know, 0 0.14, 0 0.15 amps. So that's a low power draw there compared to the iron. So let's hook the probes up here. On the bottom we have the input. We have red on the right is our hot, and then our black common is on the left. So I'll turn this to volts AC. I'm going to pull these off here for a second. And my little splitter here has some holes I can check voltage on. So I'll place those in here. And we have 122.6 volts. You can see that they're 122.5. So we could also stick these in the top here. So it's important to point out that you need to know how to be safe with a meter like this because when I had these plugged in, I had exposed conductors there. So if you don't know how to be safe, then you shouldn't be using one of these. You should learn the safety things first. So next we'll go here, I'll put these back on. We have volts DC, we have a nine volt battery here. So I can go on these and this is measuring 9.24 volts. Let's flip this around. So now I'm measuring it backwards and I have minus 9.24 volts. So next we have ohms and capacitance. It's a resistor. Let's try this. So we have 2.3. I need to make sure I'm only holding down on one resistor here actually. Okay, so we have 4.58. Now I think these are 4.7, but that's within tolerance because you're not going to get exact resistance out of these. So let's see. 
If I do two of these at the same time or multiples, let's see if I can get multiples of these, what I get. Okay, so now I have two at the same time and I have 2.2K. And you can see that K at the very bottom. Let me do that again. Let me lift this up so it's a little closer. So you can see the K right there, right above my thumb. Now it says M. So that tells you the scale you're on. We also have capacitance test here. So I'll press function and that will go to the next one because this does resistance and capacitance. So I'll connect that up to my meter. This uh, capacitor, this is a one microfarad. Let's hear, actually, I will measure this. I'll hit hold on the side. So I press the hold on the side there. So now it will retain this value so it's easier to read. So if you're measuring something you can't read, uh, like the meter's in a weird position when you're measuring it, you can press that hold and then it will store that value. So we have 1.046 microfarad. So that's within tolerance, that's what you would expect. So this also has diode testing. I don't have a diode on me right now, but that also has continuity. So if we touch these together, we go, you can hear the beep. See how fast that is? It's quite fast. Okay. So now we have the non contact voltage. So that's going to be up here. So if I place that near a voltage source, it's going to beep. Also, I can take this lead here and stick it in the hot. So I'm doing that off to the side here. Sticking that in hot, and that's gonna beep. So if you have a wire and you're not sure if it's hot, you can use that non-contact voltage, or you can use this to test it. So that's a safer way to test it. So this also has a flashlight on it here. Let's turn my light off, see if we can get that. So you can see that flashlight. So not the brightest flashlight ever, but if you're working in some equipment or something, you need to read a serial number or see what you're connecting to, it's there, it's easy, quick. And then there's also a backlight on here. So you can see the screen in the dark. Let me go kill the light so we can look at that a little better. So here's the flashlight. It's kind of behind the jaws. It doesn't completely cover, it covers just part of it. So you can still see there. And then here's the backlight on the display. So that works very well, that's super easy to read. Even at different angles, you can still see it. So this also has min max on there, so you can store your min and max, and I think that's everything else on here. So that's the Astro AI digital clamp meter. So I really like the features of this. This is an amp meter, so you can measure your amps, your AC amps, but this also has lots of other things on it like AC, DC, resistance, even capacitance and diodes and things like that. That's a pretty impressive amount of stuff to have in this one device. So you could use this everything from say appliance repair to even electronics work. So I think this is great for a homeowner DIYer that is doing different things like that. So maybe one day you're trying to work on an appliance, another day you're working on an electronics project. You can use this for automotive a little bit. It doesn't do DC amps, but you can still use the voltmeter on a car or the continuity on a car. But this is a very versatile meter. I mean, this is just gonna really come in handy when doing like appliance repairs and things like that. So you can, you know, test sensors or things like that, check draws of things and see how they're working. I like the build of this. It feels nice in the hand. This feels really nice, it just feels sturdy. I like the leads on here, they feel really nice and sturdy. And overall, I found it very easy to use. I found the display super easy to read. It's really nice and big. And with that backlight, even if it's dark, you can turn that on and it makes it really easy to read. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.